has reached such a milestone. And they say, David, the nation will spend in your currency 823 million pounds. That's about 1.4 billion of our dough on food and drink and themed decorations. More than 16,000 street parties. What's the mood across the nation? What's what's the atmosphere? I'll tell you what, this this uh, this uh, jubilee's come at the right time. You know, after two years of being locked down and things, we needed a, a really big party. And uh, the, the atmosphere is to really, uh, really enjoy it. Uh, I think we're all looking forward to four days off and uh, there's going to be a lot of drink. There's got, I'll tell you what, we were talking about that, that, that beer factory yes. <laughs> having a strike the other day. Yes. Uh, I mean, thankfully, thankfully, the shelves are not empty of beer yet as a result of that. They may be empty of beer as a result of but the, you the must, next four days. But, you, you, know. you must be very excited. Harry and Megan have arrived. Harry dusting off the medals. Oh my goodness. Me- hey, Megan dusting off the hats. What? <laughs> hey, what do they make of that? Nothing. I'll tell you what. Mo- nothing. Those two, nothing. Mo- 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 those two do not understand how really disliked. I mean, I, 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 I hesitate to use the word hated, but I mean it probably is accurate mm. uh, in this country. And you know, we keep on running polls about it. Um, I, I remember one we did a few weeks ago asking whether they should stay away from the Jubilee ce- celebrations. 70%, this is a proper poll, you know, yeah. 70% of uh, people said, no, they should stay in America and not come over. Mm. You know, it's, it's um, and, and that's kind of consistent. Uh, I, I, uh, should say, they, I should say really to our viewers, I should say to our viewers as non-working royals, they're excluded from any formal proceedings and banned along with Prince Andrew, from appearing on the balcony of Buckingham Palace after the Trooping the Colour. It's a big thing, isn't it, the Trooping of the Colour, dating back many, many centuries, the Trooping relating to the troops, identifying the particular Mm. colour of their regiments, and every time there's a Trooping the Colour, one particular colour is identified as part of a particular regiment. On this, of course, the Queen normally proceeds from Buckingham Palace down the Mall and away she goes down towards Downing Street and and takes the salute and so on. None of that will happen this year, will it? I understand she'll be watching the Trooping the Colour from the balcony. She will, she will. And uh, I think it will be Prince William who's taking the salute. He's been, uh, we've been getting pictures of him practising going around. Uh, and and the, the Trooping the Colour is specifically the Guards regiments, which, of course, were the Royal the Royal Guards, so yeah. you know, we have the Irish, the Scots, and the uh, Welsh Guards, and others. It's um, you know, so it's it's always a big event for the Queen. She, she's mm. always said to enjoy it very much. So, mm. and what about the what about the grand finale? I mean, Cliff Richard, Ed Sheeran, <laughs> the lot be thousands, aren't they? Well, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They did something similar, actually, for the Diamond Jubilee. Uh, I think they had Brian May playing his guitar off the roof of Buckingham Palace, yes. and uh, it was yes. such a huge success. They yes. thought, why, why not do this again? You know, oh, there's no. going to be loads of people out on the bar. And oh, it's, no. uh, it's, uh, you know. There's a sentiment of... Uh, there's but, a, you know, it's going to be a proper party, you know. It'll be a great party. Just finally, I mean, there is a prevailing sentiment, is there not both at home for you and around the world, that this remarkable woman, it may be one of the very few occasions she'll be seen again in public. And I think that'll be the overarching sentiment, won't it, to honour her appropriately in these four days. Yeah, I mean, you know, she's a 96-year-old lady. There's no doubt that she's uh, at the kind of... uh, End of, nearing the end of her reign. We don't know when. We obviously we all hope that she lives more years and uh, and, c- and continues to be queen. Because I mean, frankly, whilst the monarchy is still yeah. popular in this country, we had a poll which said fifty six percent still want a monarchy after her reign. Mm. 